Welcome to Just Desserts. My name is Renee Smith, and my guest today is Jamie, and she is a mother of two. So today we're going to talk about a game that you can play at home as long as you have a deck of cards and a pair of dice. Ready to go? Ready to go. Well, in a previous episode, we actually played a game that's called Four-Way Countdown, and this is kind of my version of Four-Way Countdown with things that you probably already own in your home. So, the rules of the game are pretty simple. We roll the dice, and since I got a six and a two, I have the option of either adding to get a total of eight, subtracting to get a total of four. I could multiply, but that's a 12, and we don't have cards that go up to 12. Or I could divide six divided by two and get three. So I actually have three different cards I could turn over. So let's just say I decide that I want to turn over the eight because I'm good at addition facts. So this is my side of the game board, so I'm going to turn over the eight, and then it's your turn to roll. Okay. Four. Is it, it, does it have to be four? How did you get four? Initially, my instinct was four because I multiplied. Oh. But if I subtract it, I get zero. That's not going to get me very far. No. If I divide, I'll get one. Uh-huh. So well, what if you added then I'm back at four. Again. You're back at four. So you only could turn over a four or a one. And there's some strategy involved for kids there because there might be some of these cards that are more difficult to get with the dice than others. So which one do you want to turn over? Oh, would you like to turn that one over? This is my side of the game board. You're helping me. I like that. Well, I'm, all, I'm a game, I'm a, you know, team player, so I'm not... <laughs> no, you, you better take it over I'll on your side. Take that one. Wait a minute, how'd you get two? You turned over a two. Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, that's not what you meant. Okay, what would, oh, the one. Okay, good. good. You got me all distracted. <laughs> I'm trying to throw you off so that I can win the game. <laughs> that's a different strategy altogether. <laughs> it truly is. Okay, so basically we can play with four different players because there are four, de four suits and we've laid out the aces through the tens. And in this case, our ace is standing for our one. So we can play... Uh, with four players and there are a couple of special rules though and these are the good this is the good and the bad of the game if I roll double sixes we don't like that because if I roll double sixes everything I've turned over to this point I have to flip back up well and I like start that. over yeah you like that but I don't like that I would like it if you roll double sixes <laughs> the other one is if I roll 11 if I roll a six and a five then I like that because I can pick the player that I'm playing against who's doing the best and make them turn over all their cards to start over. So there's a little strategy involved in this game as well, which is great for kids to learn. So it's only double sixes because you had a six and a two last time. So if I multiply and get 12, that doesn't count? No, it doesn't count. Just double sixes. That's the, that's the bad roll in this game. Okay. Okay. So uh, do you think you could play this tonight with your children? Definitely. So all I need is a pair of dice and a deck of cards. Right. Pair of dice and a deck of cards. Most people have those. So, you want to play right now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, but first, let me ask our guests to join us next time. Please join us next time for another strategy game for your children. And you need to turn over your cards so we can start again, and I'm having a cookie. For more information, visit MyKidsTurn.com.